Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this Facebook Live. We're going to talk about all your local headlines this morning. My name is Scott Ingen. And I'm Say Kwan. Don't forget, you can always watch this and listen to this on your own time by listening to our or visiting our Inform YouTube channel. You can find us on your favorite podcast platform and on inform.com slash podcast under Inform Minute. Wow. It's Friday. Yeah, it's it's my Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's her so Wednesday. Very, my Friday. I've yeah. been walking around saying it all morning. It's Friday. Yeah, and I'm like, it's Friday for some people. <laughs> Well, anyway. I'm going to brag about it. Yeah. Let's talk about some local headlines this morning. Say, let's start with this one right now. Area schools gearing up for another snowy day. Well, we can tell you right now, West Fargo, Grand Forks, East Grand Forks schools, all two hours late today. Mm -hmm. West Fargo, rural buses not running. And then it seems like uh, schools in Fargo and Moorhead will operate as normal. We haven't heard any type of announcement as to the contrary yeah. yet. So plan for normal schedules in Fargo uh, today. Yeah. And uh, of course, we're going to keep checking through up for updates throughout the day, but also keep your eye on your school districts like Facebook page and your email just yeah. in case you get something that comes Phones in. Phones even, turn those ringers on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, meanwhile, really quick, wanted to let you know UND is planning on reopening two hours late at 10 o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's going to, of course, allow for, uh, you know, campus leaders and, and crews in the city to clean up those roads and the sidewalks before classes start today. Yeah, even with that delayed start, UND is still planning that commencement ceremony for today. Both graduate and undergraduate students are going to be walking, getting their diplomas. Now, we told you yesterday on First News that that graduate ceremony was postponed to today because mm -hmm. of the inclement winter weather that we yeah. had going on. So that will be happening alongside the undergraduate ceremony at 1 o'clock this afternoon. The rest of the graduates will get their diplomas at 4 o'clock. Both ceremonies will be taking place in the Chester Fritz Auditorium. Oh yeah, the Chester Fritz. Okay, uh, NDSU, of course, big day for them as well as commencement ceremonies will be taking place at two and five this afternoon. Um, ceremonies are gonna be taking place at the shack and uh, just make sure you're giving yourself some extra time to get there because keep in mind, we'll touch on this a little bit later uh, in this Facebook Live too, but of course it's a big day for Bison yep. football today with Playoffs. the semifinals. Yep. Um, and you know, with all the snow uh, we saw, you know, from Dylan's live shot this morning, just crews trying to get that snow <laughs> out of the parking lots and clear it in time for tailgating, which is going to start probably at around like what, 1230? Yeah, so probably around that time. It's happening very soon. So um, just make sure that you're giving yourself some extra time. Yeah. Today. and you know, also be careful in the parking lot. Oh my gosh, be, yeah. It could be slippery. We saw ice. Like, yeah. Dylan was showing us some ice that was on the, on the roads. For so sure. Be careful. All right. Also, right now, you can get to know the four finalists being considered for Fargo City Administrator. That list includes Michael Redlinger, Fargo's Interim City Administrator, Becker County Administrator Pat Omen, and a pair of city managers from Missouri and Canada. This position works closely with the city commission to make sure nearly 2,000 employees are offering everyday services. You can watch those interviews this morning through tvfargo.com. I believe they started at, at 7, mm -hmm. so it yeah. might, might be wrapping up. I don't know yeah. how long it's going to last, but uh, I'm sure there'll probably be a replay or something available. At oh, some yeah, point too. So Definitely. keep your uh, eyes out for that. Good reminder. Uh, more of you in Detroit Lakes might be dealing with some parking tickets, the $25 parking tickets. Tis, tis. <laughs> um, and, you know, you're probably seeing, noticing less officers knocking on your doors and being like, hey, you need to move your cars. Well, uh, we heard from them and they're saying that they're actually focused, you know, more on enforcement this year mm -hmm. because last year they did get or they let a lot of people off yeah, the hook. They're more lenient. Yeah, exactly. Kind of doing like an educational period, yes. like, hey, this is your warning. Yeah, and Next now year this year, down. yeah, now they're really, really cracking down. Um, so we know just on Wednesday alone, you guys, 30 cars parked in Detroit Lakes uh, were ticketed as part of that ongoing snow emergency, which of course uh, is probably going to be extended into this weekend. But um, that slow snow emergency is really important because that's what allows those crews, you know, to get up in the middle of the night and start plowing up mm -hmm. all of that snow. Um, and that's why your cars need to be moved off the street. So yep, can be frustrating, but important. Yes, very important. <laughs> all right, let's look at some other headlines this morning. Right now, hospitals starting to feel the strain as they combat what's now been kind of coined as the triple demic, yeah. referring to flu. RSV. COVID, RSV. Yeah. So that's going on. And the federal government says COVID cases are increasing in at least 90% of the country as obviously people are inside, cold weather, school, all those sorts of things. Yeah. Those numbers are prompting the White House to once again offer free at-home testing kits. But health experts are now sending out another warning about a new threat from Strep A infections that are being reported in parts of the U.S. So 
If we aren't worrying about enough things, now yeah. we have to worry about strep throat too. Yeah, exactly. And it sounded like from ABC News this morning, they were reporting that a lot of those strep A infections can, they could be, deadly in children. Yeah, so it seems like it's more of a target in children and then, oh, it's kind of a similar case with RSV. So that's just like a parent's worst nightmare, right? Like yeah. that's just not what they need to be dealing with right now. But um, yeah. Anyway, uh, also right now, that deadly storm that's been, of course, slamming the country all week um, is now taking aim at the Northeast. We know parts of New York, New England, um, they could be seeing up to two feet of snow, the first significant snowfall of the season in many of those areas. Well, meantime, heavy snow, rain and ice are coating the highways across dozens of states, including us, um, <laughs> and tens of thousands of customers were even without power in uh, places like Pennsylvania overnight. So yep. um, this is really taking a toll on much of the U.S. right now. Yeah, almost everywhere. Yeah. It's felt it. All right. Also, new overnight, the Senate has passed a stopgap bill just in time to avoid a government shutdown at the end of the week. That measure will now go to President Joe Biden to be signed into law. Mm -hmm. House members had already approved that government funding deal earlier this week, if you recall. But that stopgap measure, it's only going to extend funding for another week. So Friday, December 23rd, just before Christmas. But top negotiators in both the House and the Senate say that they're optimistic about a framework for a full year of government funding. All right. Uh, Hot Mike with Dom Izzo on from 9 to 11, WDAY Extra, in forum.com. Like we talked about earlier this morning, it's game day. And mm -hmm. it's a really big game big day. Big day. Yeah, because um, we know that Incarnate Word is in town right now um, as they are set to face off against the Bison tonight at 6 at yep. the Fargo Dome. Um, you know, last yesterday we talked about the biggest concern, which was... Are they even gonna make it <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, there like, was, that was real a big questions concern. about that. Well, yeah, there were flight the cancellations. You know, interstate was closed. Mm -hmm. um, but we also know here's an update for you. We know that the equipment is supposed to arrive uh, by bus today. Hopefully, that's in time for the game. That would be really <laughs> I mean, bad. That's the expectation, um, obviously. Yeah, so. and if it's not here by the game, then obviously and, there's no game. And realistically, game, it needs to get here several hours yeah, before the game warm up. to prep for everything. Yeah, so. so We'll see what happens, but yeah. well, we're optimistic. And we talked about it a little bit, uh, the parking lot getting clear yeah. out and tailgating. And one thing that was funny this morning yeah. is the, the uh, porta the potties. Porta -potties. They're yes. all like, there's all a bunch of snow banks yeah. surrounding them. <laughs> so if you have a few drinks when you're tailgating today, yeah. I don't know. Be prepared to like not. You're gonna be able have to, to like wait. Yeah, maybe like wait until or you get into the park dome. Or bring your shovel and just yeah, or yeah, use that shovel, shovel. out. The, um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of an interesting predicament. It is very so, interesting. Or just like don't break the seal. I yeah, don't know. That's that's just, a suggestion that we heard. The today. main thing is don't be surprised if you can't find a yeah. spot to use the restroom yeah. today during tailgating. So just be prepared. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a couple updates on the game. You said it's at six. Now that game is not going to be playing or airing on WDAY right. because of exclusive rights with yep. ESPN. Mm -hmm. It's going to be being played on ESPN two. Mm -hmm. But we do have game day coverage oh, yeah. with our pregame show and I believe that starts at three this afternoon. Yes it does. And that uh, is on WDAY. And so, yes, yeah, you obviously. don't even have to flip the channel for that. Anyway, all right. Um, don't forget you can always um, subscribe right now at least not actually not for as long as I thought. But um, you can subscribe now to get 50% off of an annual subscription um, on inform.com. That can be for you, your family, your friends. Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do is just go on uh, inform.com slash subscribe to get started. That deal is good until December 23rd. Just one more week, take advantage of that because yeah. it is a great deal. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're gonna continue to watch the weather. We're oh, kind yeah. of getting to the end of this thing, but there's still a ways to go before it's completely out of here. Yeah. And then they're gonna have the lingering effects of wind and cold weathers Ugh. cold weather right lydia cold cold and wind. very bitter cold yeah so just because the main storm is done doesn't mean we're not going to yeah. deal with some things right. so like just we're be really safe. only just getting started <laughs> let's be real so yeah so be safe out there road conditions still not great i think most of north dakota right now still, still under, under a no travel, travel advisory mm -hmm. i-94 mostly closed yeah. i-29 to the south towards the border of south dakota also closed we're gonna have all those updates for you throughout the day starting at 11 four, five, six, nine, and 10. And uh, yeah, tune in for everything you need to know. Yeah, we also have First News Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Of course, you mm -hmm. can join me on the desk. I'll be here. Um, and then, yeah, just stay with us throughout the weekend. Of course, we'll have your latest weather coverage. And then we'll continue right back on the desk here <laughs> on First News on Monday from 5 to 7. Hope you can join us then. But for now, have a good weekend. Stay safe yes. and stay warm out there. Thanks for joining us, folks. Bye, everyone. Oh. <laughs>